U means war and Shu means art. Ushu literally means martial or warlike art. Any martial art all around the world can be termed as Ushu. So boxing or any other British martial art is Inguo Ushu. Karate or any Japanese martial art is Ruben Ushu. Taekwondo or any Korean martial art is Hanguo Ushu. And if you are talking about Chinese martial art, it is Junguo Ushu. We can divide Chinese martial art or Junguo Ushu into three different types. These three different types are Chuantong Ushu, Yundung Ushu, and Junshi Ushu. Chuantung Ushu or traditional Chinese martial art are as old as Chinese civilization itself. Jiaodi or horn butting, Jiaoli or wrestling, and Shobo or hand striking used to be the earliest forms of traditional Chinese martial art. Later on, these are called Ugung or martial skills. The term Ugung is still used in most part of China. In modern times, we call it Gung Fu. The word Gung Fu is an umbrella term for any style of Jungguo Chuantong Ushu, traditional Chinese martial art. Gung Fu is highly misinterpreted because of its traditional forms or Tao Lu. Many people look at it as a fancy dance because they can see punches, kicks, footworks, blocks and a hell lot of fancy movements which they cannot interpret. But these fancy movements are joint locks, throws, takedown defense and escapes. Every single movement of a traditional form represents a technique that can be useful in real combat. Lot of people do not understand the difference between a traditional martial art and modern sports version of a traditional martial art. Just because someone is wearing some traditional clothing and performing some traditional forms, that does not mean they are traditional Gung Fu practitioners. The second type of Chinese martial art is Yundung Ushu or Sports Ushu. It is not a traditional martial art, it's a modern sport less than 60 years old. The biggest difference between traditional Gung Fu and sports Ushu is the forms or Tao Lu. Traditional Gung Fu forms are a list of techniques in your brain and your muscle memory that you can use for real combat when it is necessary. Sports Ushu form on the other hand only designed for demonstration purpose. There are many acrobatic moves you can see in sports Ushu which is completely useless in real fighting. And the purpose is very simple, it is not meant for fighting. It is just any other sport like gymnastic or figure skating. It is really unfortunate that many people who want to learn traditional Kung Fu ends up joining sports social schools. In old school Kung Fu, you can kick someone's head with your shoes on. These fights have always been done with bare knuckles. Sometimes they use open finger strikes to eyes or to throat which is completely legal in traditional Kung Fu. If opponent is down, you simply kick his head. Even kicking to the groin is a legit move in traditional Kung Fu that you are about to see in the next video. Tended with. That's a right kick, right hook. Yes, crutch kicks. Everything else. He's injured, he's down. Why these kind of moves are allowed in traditional Kung Fu when these are illegal in any other sports combat? The reason is simple. Kung Fu was originated in ancient medieval and early modern battlefields. Now let's take a look at modern Sanda or sports sanda, which is a part of sports ushu. It's a modern hybrid sport that contains different techniques of striking and grappling from various styles of kung fu as well as modern methodology of training. There are protective gears, rules, referee, judges, and soft mattresses to fight on. It is an extremely physically demanding combat sport. However, please do not confuse between traditional kung fu and sports ushu. It is really unfortunate that many people in modern times are teaching sports ushu and calling it traditional Kung Fu training. The third type is Junshi Ushu or military ushu. We can call it a modern hybrid Kung Fu system. The reason is there are forms like traditional Kung Fu and each movement of the form represents a fighting technique. There are many ancient and medieval training methods we can witness in Junshi Ushu training. For example, Qian Changji or Thousand Layer of Paper, 
a traditional fist conditioning method of Shaolin Kung Fu. Junshi Ushu has extensive use of Chinna and Shui Jiao, grappling and wrestling. Even their bayonet fighting technique is highly influenced by ancient Qiangfa or spear fighting techniques. And it's not just about Kung Fu. Take the example of any modern martial art. This is how a modern karate school and karate training looks like. It is not a traditional martial art. And this is what traditional karate looks like. You can see the differences in training yourself and the performance will be different as well. I have nothing against modern combat system or sports combat system. My point is if you want to learn any traditional martial art you have to do your research very well. Because in modern times, there are many schools that will claim that they are going to teach you traditional martial art and rather than that, end up teaching sports karate or sports ushu. Don't be deceived by traditional clothing, traditional weapons or traditional looking forms. If you like the video, please subscribe my channel. It is full of real Kung Fu fighting videos that you can find nowhere else. Enjoy your training and all the best.